Okay, today we'll be opening up this Purelator 1 oil filter, number PL14670, and we'll be comparing it to this CarQuest oil filter, number 85085. And I got these two oil filters from a very generous viewer whose name is Jim, from Mobile, Alabama. Thanks, Jim. These filters fit Jim's wife's 2004 Land Rover Discovery. Yep, the one with a 4.6 liter V8 gas engine. And these two filters, they got to duke it out. It could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. We'll start with the Pure Lighter 1 and we'll start with the box. Sinbled Media. It's rated for 15,000 miles. If we look over here, 99% dirt removal. And that's at 20 microns. Silicone and drain back valve, PTFE treated gasket. Okay, let's open up this box, see what this filter looks like. The date code F09P20B1. This is a sticker. And if we look over here, it says Made in USA. This filter has eight inlet holes, silicone and drain back valve, three grooves there for threads. Metal core louvers, bypass valve down below, and the silicone gasket. It looks like a silicone gasket. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the CarQuest oil filter. And there's really nothing on this box except for here. See product for country of origin. Alright, let's open up and see what it looks like. Alright, leak tested. 22 MR. S27 3470. It's got a sticker on it also. Made in China. And it's got this plastic cover over it. And this filter also has A lamp holes, silicone and drain back valve, three grooves there for threads, metal core with holes on this one, bypass valve down below. And also looks like a silicone gasket. And they stick out about the same. Base plates look very similar. Alright, let's take these two filters. Cut them open. See what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. The Pure Later is 366 grams even. CarQuest is 446 grams even. Okay, let's take a look at the gaskets. CarQuest on the right, pure light on the left. And the CarQuest is a little bit thicker. You get the focus here. Come on, focus. You can see it's a little bit thicker. I'm sure both do a good job. Nice silicone gaskets. And they both got silicone and drain back valves. You can see that they cover up the holes nice. They actually, you can actually flip them around. And they would also work. Push that one in a little more, but that would, that would work. And the base plates, let's get their weights. It's a Car Quest, 203.6 grams. Pure later, 179.2 grams. Let's take a look at them up close. They both got the same amount of grooves there for threads, but the one, the Chinese one here, the CarQuest, looks like it's cut a little better. The holes look the same, the lead holes. Yeah, I would say they're both the same, same base plate pretty much. Okay, now filter element. Pure later, 98.8 grams. CarQuest. 118.5 grams. Okay, let's take a look at the pure later here. We've got a glute seam right here. A big space there. That's a big gap. And this filter has 60 pleats. It's a synthetic blend media with a micron rating of 99% 20 microns. 
There's a lot of space in between these guys. Deep pleats though. And also we got some little excess glue here. Bypass valve right here. This side looks a little cleaner. Still a little excess glue though. Yeah, this one doesn't look as good. The car quest looks better. Take a look at the car quest. The car quest has got a seam. I'm pretty sure it's got an inside seam right here. It could be crimped or it could be glued. I don't know. But the car quest has five more pleats, 65 pleats. They're better spaced also. A little excess glue here. And there is a little gap there. But it's a lot cleaner. Clean here on the end caps right here is the bypass valve. Clean here. And it also the car quest got these little ears here. Help keep it centered. You know, it's gonna move around anyways, but yeah, so and the car quest has a synthetic blend media, but I don't know what the micron rating is. Definitely a better looking filter. And CarQuest has coil spring. Curator has stamp leaf spring. Okay, let's see these cans. Let's get the Purolator can. 66.5 grams. CarQuest, 102.4 grams. And the Purolator is a lot thinner of a can. 0.36 millimeters thick, whereas the car quest is around 0.61. I was getting, I call it 0.6. See, it goes down 6.3. No, it's not exact, but it's definitely a thicker can. Yeah, you can tell it's a lot thicker. And car quest has overspray in it, pure latest, nice and clean. And this also looks, it looks like it's uh, maybe a water stain. It feels smooth though, but it looks like it's stained up. And the pure later is 2.56 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. The car quest is 2.4 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. Okay, so uh, yeah, you guys can tell by looking at them which one looks better. Well, let me cut these two filters open, stretch them out, and see what they look like under a microscope. Be right back. Okay, both filters go over the table. And the Pure Later oil filter is 83 and a half inches long. The CarQuest oil filter is 81 inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness on this filter media. Pure later filter is 0.95 millimeters thick. CarQuest filter media is 0.88 millimeters thick. Okay, let's see in here. this is the filtering side. The back side. You got P for Pure later, C for CarQuest. And these filters under a microscope they look pretty much the same. I would say they would probably do the same filtering job. Let's take a look at that picture. So looking at that picture, I would say both of these filter medias are, are probably identical. Probably do the same filtering job. This is a pure later. It's got a glued seam here. And the CarQuest had an inside, inside a metal crimp seam. You get about 20 square inches of more filter media also with the Pure Later filter. Now let's take a look at the rest of the filter. Okay, so with the gaskets, I'd give them a tie. 
And he drained back valves, also a tie, and the base plates, I'd give him a tie. It's, these are pretty much equaled out. Over here, I like, I prefer coil springs. You know, some people like the leaf springs, they don't care. They say that you get less filter media with this, but actually, if these guys had the same inner cores, it, the filter media would probably equal out. Look at the difference here. See, there's a size difference. One will go right into the other one. So you end up with bigger pleats on this pure layer filter. That's why you get more filter media. But if this one had the same amount of, you know, if it was the same size, the pleats would be bigger and you'd have more filter media because it had more pleats to start with. And this one here has rough holes. I forget to point that out, we've got rough holes. And let's take a look at these louvers. Let's see if I take the light off here. Yeah, you can see they're opened up. Yeah, these are fine. So that's all fine. And, you know, the cans I would give to the Car Quest because it's a thicker can. So, definitely the Car Quest is a beefier can. I think if I had to choose between these two, I think the Car Quest is a little bit better made, but you get a little more filter media with the Pure Later. What do you guys think about these two filters? And again, I want to thank Jim for sending me these two oil filters, and I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays, I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. The Pure Later filter media weighs 23.3 grams. The CarQuest filter media weighs 22.1 grams.